Hello everybody and welcome back to another vlog. So today, as I'm sure you've seen by the title, um, we are going to be doing a vlog on behind the scenes of product development. Now this is something that you don't often see a lot of, especially if you um, are not working in a business that develops their own products. So we thought we'd make a vlog today, Nikina and I, um, talking through some of the products that we develop. As I'm sure you know, we develop quite a lot of our own products. We've got the Grim Professional lines um, and some other ones that we develop. So we're going to be talking through it, talking through the process, and then we're going to take you to our warehouse um, where we also do some of the manufacturing. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to pass you over to Nikina. She's going to introduce herself, tell a little bit about your job, what you do, and then we're going to head over to our other warehouse over at the Agave and show you everything that's going on. So I'm just going to pass you over to Nikina now. Hi, so as Tori said, my name is Nikina and I head up a brand development here at Christie's Direct. So what we do is look at trends, look at what's out there in the market. And also a key thing is we work for our sales and customer care team, listening to your guys' feedback to bring you brand new products exciting to make your grooming day a lot easier. So we start with looking at the trends, kind of seeing what we have, what we're missing. We then work with our suppliers to create a bunch of scents, kind of sample them, test them work amongst ourselves, see what we like, and then we kind of think about how we could incorporate these into our current brands or else we make our new brands. So as Tori said, we have Grim Professional, which is over 800 products. So that's probably our biggest one and the one we work on most. So in my role, I kind of look at the behind the scenes of what goes on before you get the product to your salon. So we start off working with suppliers, get the scents, get them all in, work very closely with the rest of the marketing team here, we think of names, how the brand's going to look, what the overall brand product is, uh, what's going in it, how we'll market to it to you guys, and just get a good feel before we start the design process. So then once it's all clarified with suppliers, we know what we're getting, we know how we want it to look, I then pass a brief on to the designers who in-house work, we work together back and forth. Could be a short process, could be a long process, and we design how it's going to look. Once that's all done, we get that sent away, all comes into house, and what we're going to show you today and focus on our Grim Professional brand is what we do once all components are in, which is put it all together, get it ready for you guys, and then in the marketing team, we promote it, get it out there, goes to the sales guys, and you get it in your salon. So we're just gonna head over to our other warehouse here and give you a little behind the scenes. Okay, so we're gonna now take you, look at all these gorgeous dogs behind us. We were just <laughs> admiring the chow chow, but we're now gonna take you over to our other warehouse. It's over at the Agive, um, and this will be our second sort of headquarters. This is the main headquarters that we're at now. Um, and we're gonna take you over there now and let's have a little look at the behind the scenes. I'm actually so excited. Like so it's so much see. fun, yeah. <laughs> We've got a new label maker and everything over there. So we'll let you have a look at that and we'll talk you through it. Okay, so we are now out in the warehouse here and it is cold, everyone's laughing at us. <laughs> but yeah, it's freezing out here, but we're gonna give you a little quick tour, um, just show you bits and pieces, can't show everything. Top secret. Top secret and all that. Um, so we're gonna show you some of the shampoos that we've got, you probably will recognize the colors of them. Show you some bottles, show you some bits and pieces, and then we're gonna show you the filling process of one of the Groom Professional colognes. So let's just get started. Okay, Nikina. Tear on, what is this? So this big container you made in the shell from the name and the colour of it, but this is our Grim Professional Apple Shampoo. So as you can see, they come in these big containers and in here we can fill 1,000 litres of product for you guys. Whether it be our 450 ml, our litres or 4 litres, it all comes from here and our guys are learning to fill it. So Perfect. As you can see along here, there is a few different ones that you might recognise the colour of, the name. Got some and raspberry it does there. Smell incredible. Yes. <laughs> smell all coming out. <laughs> Gorgeous. So there's that one. And then what's this one here? This so it's bright, bright so white. You can definitely tell by the colour what this one is for. Mm -hmm. So yeah, these are just some of our best selling from professional ones. So we some of the colours. Keep a lot of these in stock as they're constantly being filled out here in our warehouse. The fantastic thing about this warehouse is that we can do everything here ourselves. So literally we've got all of our solutions, all of the shampoos, conditioners, colognes, you name it. And then out here is where it all happens. So we can do the filling process, the labeling process, everything like that. And um, so now we're going to just take you along and have another little look around the warehouse, point out some bits. Um, and this all is part of the product development process. So literally, like Nikina said, it goes from an idea to a concept to, you know, even way before that, filling a niche, finding out what you want from us. Um, 
then coming up with the idea, coming up with the product name, the description, the scents, the flavors, the colors, then taking it to marketing. And then this really is the final stage of everything when it all comes to this warehouse with the bottles, the labels and the product. And this is the final stage of it. So let's just take another little walk around and see what else we can see. Okay, so Nikina, what is in here? So as you can see by all these walls, this is where we keep all of our labels. So they come in here, we store them until we're doing a big film process, which you will see later. So as you can see, you might see some of your favourite grown professionals. So these are our colognes. So you've got your original prints. Um, yeah, so this is just a big label store. So we're going to show you the filling uh, process now on a couple of our grown professional colognes. So as you can see here, this is our big tank or an IBC. And this has a thousand litres of liquid. So the tube just goes in here and comes along into this wonderful machine. And Tori, if you want to talk about this. Yeah, so we're going to be filling this up here. We've got the little cologne bottles, as I'm sure you will know. They've just got no labels on them. And Daniel is going to show us here how they are filled. So you pop it in do a little foot press then all of the liquid comes up through this tube and literally fills it so it is so quick so easy to do um, and this is what they, these guys do right here so they fill all of these bottles for your cologne every one is hand filled and um, so any of the bottles of cologne you get have been filled by one of our guys out here at a give um, and this is literally the process it's such a cool machine So now we are doing the lidding process. It's literally just popping the little lids on, the little spray lids. Um, and these are all a certain length to go in your cologne bottle. So we're just filling these up here now. And then they're gonna go over to the label um, machine. Once the bottles have then been lidded over here, we're gonna pop them into our new label machine. So let's just follow them down. And then we'll get to see the labels being popped on. And there we go there's the labels put on and then they get put onto this little turntable we're going to move on from the little turntable and them all being packaged lidded filled and we're going to be showing you the boxing process find what it is size of bottles we put 24 in each box and as we're doing it we check them make sure that they're 100 percent okay to go out check that the wee batch number and everything's 100 percent So that is literally the full process then from filling them up, putting the uh, lids on, labeling them onto the turntable and then into the box and packaged and ready to go out. Okay, so that is us done. That is the full process from start to finish of um, how we do our product development from the ideas and the creativity right through to filling natural bottles, labeling them and getting them shipped out to you. So I really hope that you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give the video a like. Also subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification to be notified anytime we upload a new video. Bye. Bye.